Hey Floss Tube, long time no see! It's Katie the Stash Queen and I am here. I am back after my summer break. Um, I just wanted to take a little bit of time to thank you guys for all of your support and all of the kind messages I received between responses to my last little update video about my break to posts on Instagram and Facebook and messages and all that. Thank you guys for understanding. Um, summer was just wild and crazy this year. I wanted to come back a little bit sooner. We've been in school now for a few weeks, um, but we've been transitioning into second grade for my son, sixth grade for my daughter. It's We've had a little bit of struggles with both of them. Um, things are finally seeming to settle down. Today finally seems like a day. Sorry, I adjust my crown. Um, finally seems like a day where I can sit down and tape and do a video. I've been spending the last, you know, hour and a half organizing after doing all of my notes last night because, oh my gosh, update. Um, what have I been doing since I saw you guys last? We took a family trip to Chicago for our uh, annual vacation as a family. Um, my husband and I, uh, my glasses are bent, sorry. Um, my husband and I, uh, honeymooned there 15 years ago and we got married so we went back there kind of as a nostalgia slash my brother lived there so we visited him um summer itself was just otherwise crazy I lost my stitchy bug for a while then it came back and went kind of wonky any and all plans kind of went out the door I just went where my stitchy bug led me um but it felt in the last couple of days like I'm finally getting back to normal so there's that. Um, I've been doing some other things other than stitching too um, that just took time and such. So, but I have starts, I have finishes, I have whips, I have stash. Oh my gosh, do I have stash? Um, I have plans for the upcoming week because yes, I'm coming back to weekly videos. Gosh darn it, I can't, this takes too much time <laughs> to go this long. Um, so this the stash room is almost done. Um, I was able to work on it in bits and pieces here and there uh, while on the summer vacation. A lot of what I needed to do is just some organizing on little things like putting away beads and threads and buttons and all sorts of other fun stuff. Um, but we're getting there. Um, so that'll be coming sometime soon. Anyway, uh, besides that, looking at my notes, that's pretty much what I've been doing since we've been gone. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful summer. I hope if you are in the hurricane, either hurricane's path, that you are safe and uh, your family is safe. Um, I, you know, hope everyone's had a wonderful time since I've been back. I have not watched a lot of Floss Tube in my absence. I admit that. I've been kind of binge watching bad TV on Netflix. Um, but I will be getting caught up. The um, Floss Tube retreat is coming up in October. I'm excited about that, even though people are dropping like flies. Don't drop any more people. Um, but I'm looking forward to kind of just getting away and having a vacation without my kids and my husband for a little while. So anyway, let's get started. I will preface this by saying some of this format will be familiar. Some of it won't be um, just because it's been a couple months. And like I said, everything kind of went out the, the window at various points. So I'm just kind of it's going to be a little bit of a different format, but I'm going to start with some Q&A that did come up since I saw you guys last. Uh, and I can't see it from this far away, so let me move you. Uh, Doris Design said, I love your starts. How do you remember where everything is purchased from? Well, most of the time it's pretty easy because um, they say on the pattern who, uh, which, as far as patterns are concerned. Um, for my minders, um, they I only buy from a few vendors, um, so I know pretty much where they come from and sometimes I'm wrong sometimes I think it came from one vendor and it came from someone else uh, but I also keep track of it in my X stitch app um, where the fabric is from where the floss or if there's unique changes about the floss where the floss is from um, where the needle minders came from and all that see okay this is gonna bug me my glasses got stepped on and I need to get them replaced anyway um, so they've been a little bit bent Gotta fix them too because I can't see through them. All right, so yes, wonky glasses. Oh well, I've got a crown, I've got wonky glasses. I'm here, let's just leave it at that. Uh, Brenda Sexton said, I love the Art Nouveau book. May I ask what year it's from? You know, I meant to grab that um, and I didn't and I don't wanna stop and go get it because it's not in this room right now. Um, 
I will get back to that you, with you on that next week. I apologize for that. And then she said, I think you mentioned it. You got it from Half Price Bookstore in Dallas. It was actually in Plano, which is where I live, but in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Yeah, and there were several copies of it. Um, it's an older book, uh, but um, there were several copies of it at, at my Half Price Books. So uh, I highly recommend just, you, you don't know what treasures you'll find at Half Price Books or at thrift stores or anything else like that that you may not find in other places. So um, let me get back to you on the uh, year of the book. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Uh, Christine Cannon asks, where did you get the Glendon Place needle miters? From Glendon Place. They're only through Glendon Place. If you go to the Glendon Place website, there's the option there to get the... It's an exclusive deal with them and their vendor um, for making those. So I just got them straight through Glendon Place. Dr. Pepper, which is in a blue can because we're in Dallas Cowboy country, even though I'm not a Dallas Cowboy fan. Don't hate me, Cowboy fans out there. We're a Texans household here. But it is still Dr. Pepper, even if the can is blue. Weirded my kids out when they saw it, too. Um, Soldier Stitching asked, how do you keep your fabrics, flosses, patterns for new starts organized for mania and the like? Um, well, everything gets kept in plastic bags, honestly. Um, when I kit things up, I put the fabric in there. If it the pattern is small enough, I put the pattern in there. Um, if it has specialty floss, I'll put the specialty floss in there. I only work from one set of DMC for everything, so I don't put DMC in the in my bags. Um, when I'm not using my patterns, like when they've when they're waiting in the rotation, I have binders that ones A through M, ones N through Z, and I put them uh, in alphabetical order by the name of the pattern, um, since that's how I do the organization for my stitching. Um, so that's Basically, it's nothing too fancier. I use Ziploc because one, I have over 400 whips and 400 project bags while they're lovely would be way more than I'm willing to spend, even though we all know I spend a lot because I'm the stash queen. Um, but I'd rather spend that money elsewhere. But Ziploc bags with stuff inside it, not too fancy, but it works. Um, let's see here. Henna1937 said, how do I make whisper thread fluffy? I've actually not gotten to a point where I've needed to use whisper thread thread and make it fluffy yet. I have a few patterns that call for it, but what I have heard is use a clean toothbrush. Just get a cheap toothbrush at a pharmacy or your grocery store, nothing fancy, and then just brush it very lightly. Now, if anyone else out there has other tips or tricks that they would suggest, feel free to put them in the comments and share them. Um, but that's what I have heard most commonly is just a clean new toothbrush and gently brushing over the whisper thread. Uh, Milda VZ asked, how many finishes do you have this year? I am up to five. Uh, you will see three of them because I finished three since I saw you guys last. Um, but I'm up to five. My goal for 2017 was 17 for 2017. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish 12 more starts between or 12 more whips between now and the end of the year. Um, this year's just been really weird stitching wise for me. Um, and I don't think it was just stitching wise. I think it's just a lot of other stuff going on in life that has impacted my stitching. Um, I'm making some plans and some changes um, and hopefully next year will be a little bit more back to my normal self. Um, but I'm up to five so far. You'll see three of them in a bit. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Cross Stitch Queen. Hi, fellow queen. Uh, said, I was also w just wondering if you were going to still do another year of starts this year. Not sure if you said you were or year of starts next year. I know it's early thinking about that. This year started off with a year of starts and then life went crazy. Um, I'm not doing the year of starts the way I did it last year as far as a new start every day. I do have new starts. Um, I'm participating pretty much in the Stitch Mania version of the year of starts this year where it's a new start on the 17th of every month for 2017. Um, but next year, I, I've been waffling back and forth on if I was going to do a year of starts. And I have decided that I am going to do a year of starts. Um, but it's going to be a little bit of a different format than how I did it last year. Where last year, I just picked up whatever I wanted to start and do it. This year, I'm going to try to line it up more with the different stitch alongs that we have planned in Mania. So if there's a theme or a designer, I'm going to try to have my starts all work around that. But I'm still working on it. I had had my entire year next year um, planned out. I scrapped it, <laughs> but I'm going to figure stuff out and more to come close to the end of the year. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Brenda Greer said, can you print from the app you receive your digital magazines on? I use Zinio and I have not printed from them, but there is a print icon on the website that you can print from. And my understanding from other Zinio users is yes, you can print from it. I don't mind using my computer 
for patterns, so I haven't tried it. Um, but yes, you can print from it. So those are all of my questions. I was amazed I actually had a few questions to answer after being gone for so long. Um, but if you have any questions for me, feel free to put them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to get to them next time. A uh, quick update in Stitch Mania. We are closing in on 11,000 members, which is crazy. If you haven't joined us yet and you want to, please feel free. Just remember a couple of things. Um, we do have the questions now that come up from Facebook that automatically pop up to... Um, get some information to make sure you are a legitimate stitcher you will not be led into the group unless you answer those questions um and then uh also there is a pinned post on the top of stitch mania it's been there for a couple of years now um make sure whenever you join the group that you take a glance at that it gives you great information about all of our various documents and files and stitch alongs and all sorts of things so make sure you've read that if you haven't or whenever you join up but other than that stitch mania is going great um, love seeing all of y'all's projects. Uh, one question I've seen that's popped up a couple of times lately in Mania. Um, while yes, we are primarily a cross stitch group, um, we love all sorts of needlework and embroidery. So if you're a cross stitcher who also likes to do regular embroidery, share it. If you like to do, um, crochet and you have a crochet project that you've been working on, feel free. If you're a quilter, bring it on. Um, if you like big pieces and you haven't made a bunch of progress but you still want to share anyway, fantastic. If you do primitive or simpler type pieces, share away. We love seeing everything and anything that you are doing. There is no such thing as posting too much in Stitch Mania. We will never tell you to stop posting pictures of your whips or of any of your projects. We never want anyone to feel like they can't post their information or their, their projects that they're working on no matter what craft they are bring them on. We want to see them. Inevitably, you will enable someone somewhere. Very likely me. So just to throw that out there. All right. Since I saw you last, like I mentioned, um, everything has been kind of crazy wonky as far as stitching goes. So I'm not going to do my usual breakdown of how I did things. Um, I will say I have pretty much given up <laughs> on keeping up with the monthly sales at this point. Um, that was one thing that was just getting really stressful for me. Uh, I will pick them up and work on them as I want to. Otherwise, they are being classified as just regular whips, and I will finish them whenever I finish them. Um, just to throw that out there. But, uh, I, like I said, I have starts, I have whips, and I have finishes. I'm going to show them all to you in alphabetical order. That does not mean that is the order that I worked on them. Um, I just can't remember. And sometimes I worked on something one day, and then I went back to it, two weeks later. So it was just way easier to put it in alphabetical order than in actual order that I did stuff. So all that rambling, I haven't done this in a while. Sorry if I'm talking fast, but I have an hour before my son needs to go. I need to leave to go pick up my son and I have a lot to talk about. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to start off with starts. I had five starts since I saw you guys last. The first, and as always, all electronic patterns, I will put a link to in the bottom or in the description box below for you to check them out if you would like to get to them. First one is electronic pattern. It is A Witch's Place by House Elf Stitchery. And I am doing this on 28 Joblin and Iris by Hand Eyed Fabrics by Stephanie. My minder is a little Dumbledore needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies because the whole um, statement is a witch's place is in Dumbledore's army. I'd started this uh, for the return to Hogwarts stitch along in Mania in September, and I finished Little Miss Granger there, right there in the middle. So I love this piece. I think it's awesome. It was a lot of fun. I plan on getting back to it soon. Then the next start I had was just a random, I needed something to jump up, to start my stitchy bug. It is an electronic pattern. It is Greek gods and goddesses from Clouds Factory. Fantastic, awesome pattern. I'm so excited someone did Greek gods and goddesses. Um, I am doing this on 28 Jobelin in Seaside from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And I'm doing my border. It's kind of hard to see it in the video, but I am doing my border in Krynik number four braid in 032, which is the white. And then in 018, which is this like gray blue shade. So I'm going to do the border all the way around it in those to two colors. Um, I was talking to Garrett about this because we started this on the same day. Um, I'm going to probably do a lot of blinging up on this one. The skin won't be blinged, but I'm going to, it's gods and goddesses from Greece. Let's 
Bling it up, babe. And then here's my minder. Yes, Venus is technically the Roman name for Aphrodite, but this is from Delicious Threads. So there's that one. My next new start is one I actually brought with me on my trip to Chicago because I just wanted something small and easy and a complete kit to do. And it is the Heart Medallion Palette by Stitchy Box in conjunction with Kesslin's. And it is being done on uh, 32 Belfast in Lilac from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And here's the little center motif I got done. And my minder is from Brenda's Minders and More. Clearly, I did not get a lot of stitching done while I was in Chicago. Um, but there were a couple of evenings where, you know, me and my daughter would stay in while my husband and son went to go do some sort of adventure. Um, you know, daddy-son bonding, always a good thing. Uh, so I had a little bit of time to stitch here and there. Didn't, like, didn't do a ton, but hey, it was still fun, and I got some stitching in. My next new start is a... Uh, our, both of these next two starts are actually going to be gifts. Um, comes from the 2014 uh, Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue. And it is If You Don't Believe, which is this one right here from Sue Hillis Designs. Let's see if you can see the, the glare. It says, What Santa Brings If You Don't Believe, and it's socks and underwear. And I am doing this on 28 count white Jobelin. Got a lot of the text done. My minder is from No Name Needle Minders. Um, I'm involved in an ornament exchange with a group of ladies that I have been friends with since we were all pregnant with our children that were born in 2006, which is my daughter. And we do an ornament exchange every year and we started talking about it and I've been told that whoever's name I get, I am supposed to do a cross stitch ornament. So I started it. Don't know who I'm giving it to yet, but I've started it. And then my last new start is going to be a wedding gift. So, well, Rachel, if you're watching this, oh well. I probably won't show it much further than this. But this is the uh, Just Married Sunshine line from Brooks Books. I'm doing it for my sister who is getting married next summer. I am going to be the maid of honor. My daughter is the flower girl. My son is the ring bearer. Or as we keep joking, it sounds like ring bear. So he's going to be the ring panda. It's barely started, but it started. And my little minder is from Nifty Needle Nannies. Um, I'm not sure how many updates I'm going. It's all perforated paper because it's a Brooks Books. I don't know how much I'm going to show you guys this for obvious reasons. My sister ever so often watches these videos. So, Rachel, if you saw that, just forget about it and you'll see it in a few months. So I'll work on this one. This one's gonna be one of those I work on when I can. I've got a year or so, so I've got plenty of time to work on that. So those were my starts. Um, whips. I worked on 16 different whips um, that weren't finishes since I saw you guys last. Again, I'm doing this in ABC order. It's just easier that way. First one is my ABCs of Parenting by Lizzie Kate. I worked on this for the Patreon, no, uh, for the um, uh, Tour de Designers in July, because Lizzie Kate was my was our designer in July. That tells you how long I've been doing it since it's been an update. We're in September. Holy crap! So here's where I got to. I finished that top row, and now I'm down here on the next sort set of letters down at the very bottom. I am doing this one over two on 32 Lugana in Earthen from Picture This Plus. And my minder is my little Teresa needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. So we're making progress on this. Then the next one. I gotta put everything away. That hasn't changed. Next one I worked on was my American Flag Quilt Sampler by Rosewood Manor. And this one I worked on for the Patriotic Pride Sal in July in Mania as well. And this one is being done on 28 count off-white even weave. And here's where I got to. I got Virginia 
down there finished and I did a little bit more of the blue. And my minder is a little heart needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Oh, my patterns are all falling over here because there's a lot. Then my next one was an electronic pattern. It was Avengers Assemble and it's from Pixels and Stitches. And this one is being done on 32 Opal Belfast and Santa's Suite from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And my minder is from Minding My Minders. That's Loki there in the middle that I was working on. For some reason I thought it was Black Widow. Nope, it's Loki. It tells you it's been a while since I worked on that one. Then my next one is also an electronic pattern. It is the birthside uh, or the birthstone dragon stitch along from Ingleside Imaginarium. I am up to June. I have finished June. So here is my whole blinged out dragon piece at this point. This is being done on 32 Jobelin in Vineyard from Under the Sea Fabrics. My minder was a rack that was given to me. Um, the border is being done in Krennic number four in 3202, so it's all blingy and sparkly. Um, April's dragon, her collars around her neck and on her tail are done in Krennic number four in 032. And then for June, I stole someone else's idea and combined the pattern to two different pattern options. So there's Pearl and Alexandrite in both of her. And I have Moonstones as well. Her little eggs of pearls. She's got her hard to tell here but she's got the green alexandrite in her hair I guess and on her tail and she's got the really big green alexandrite there too so that's where I am on this one it's getting heavy <laughs> I mean relatively for a cross stitch piece it's not super heavy but it's definitely getting heavy I want to get back to this one of all of the annual stitch alongs this year this one is by far my favorite um so I do want to get back to it I've just it ain't going to be finished this year, more than likely. Then the next one that I worked on was Fairy Tale from the Dimensions Gold Collection. And I worked on this one for full coverage on the 5th in July. And there's not much on it, but progress is progress, right? <clears throat> yep, it's blobs of blue, but that's okay. And my minder is uh, from Nifty Needle Nanny's, that little Tinkerbell. This one's Stiff Ada kit fabric, which, yeah. Then, for my next one, um, because I'm going to have a bunch of them here shortly. Uh, I showed you already that I did the witches or a witch's place as my new start for return to Hogwarts. I decided to pull out all of my Harry Potter pieces and work on all of them for a return to Hogwarts. I just made it a whole Harry Potter weekend, um, and watched the movies on TV too. So this is my giant Harry Potter electronic pattern by clouds factory. And I worked on this also for the return to Hogwarts weekend. Um, it is being done on 32 Lugana in doubloon from Picture This Plus, and I'm doing the this uh, pattern in Krennic Silk Mori and in uh, number four for the little balls, but this is all Krennic Silk Mori for the border so far. So I worked some on the border, and my minder is a little Harry Potter needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Then the next one actually isn't a Harry Potter design, but that's okay. It is from the 2013 Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue. It was Happy Halloween, which is this one right here. And I am doing this on 28 Jaslyn in Autumn Fields from Silk Weavers. And here is where I got to. I finished up the cat. So now I can start working around the moon around her next time I work on this. And my minder was one of my minders from um, my Down Sunshine Lane. I was about to say delicious something, but it wasn't delicious threads. 
I am out of practice on doing these videos, y'all. Bear with me. Then the next is an electronic pattern, also a Harry Potter piece. It is Harry, Ron, and Hermione from Wee Little Stitches. And here's where I got to. This is Harry that I'm working on here in the middle. And I have a little Gryffindor Crest Needle Minder from Minding My Minders. And the fabric is um, 32 Joblin in Butterbeer from Under the Sea Fabrics. Because hello, Butterbeer. The next one was also by Wee Little Stitches, also on 32 Joblin in, in uh, Butterbeer, also worked on for the Return to Hogwarts Stitch Along in September, but it is um, Harry's foes, Harry Potter's foes. So here is where I got to. Snape has been done for a while. It can be argued that Snape wasn't a foe, but Snape is in there. And then that's Fenrir Greyback the werewolf that I'm working on right now. And my minder is a little Maleficent Slytherin needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. I originally started this the day that Alan Rickman died in honor of him because of being Snape. So let's see. Then the next one I worked on is an electronic pattern. It's the Lakeside Needlecraft Fantasy uh, Salve by Lakeside Needlecraft and Doreen Jones. And I am stitching this um, on 28 Joblin in Nimue from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Here is where we are. I worked more on border last time I worked on it to try to get rid of the last of my hanging threads. But And my minder is my little pooping unicorn needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. I've seen this piece completed now because all of the parts have come out. It's very lovely. The next one is Love You Mom by Bent Creek. And I am doing this one on 28 Cashel in Lavender Mist from Zweigart. And here is where I was able to get to at this point. Finish the Mamere little flower. And my minder is a Mommy Queen needle minder from No Name Needle Minders because I am mom and I am queen. Then the next one is my current obsession piece. I picked this up needing, again, to jumpstart my stitchy bug. Oh my gosh, has it done that? This is an electronic pattern, but it is discontinued. So, sorry. Um, this is Mahjong by Siba Designs. It's a black work piece. I am, clearly, I am doing this on, um, 28 Joblin in Fireball from Under the Sea Fabrics, all in black. And my minder is common, apparently common sense isn't that common from Delicious Threads. But here is the fabric with it in the middle. I am loving it. It goes quickly-ish. It is my obsession piece. I am getting back to it here shortly. Then... The next one I pulled out um, was Regina, My Raven Queen by Mirabilia. And I pulled her out to work on her for the Mirabilia Nor Corbett Tour de Designers this month in Stitch Mania. And I am doing her on 28 Joblin and Andromeda from Under the Sea Fabrics. And here is where she is at this point. I've been working on more of the gray down in her skirt. I just love her and I love this fabric. And my minder is a little Maleficent needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. I'm gonna keep working on this for this month too for Tour Day designers here and there. Then the next one that I need to get back to and I've been bad about working on is my Sarah Davis Clonmel uh, 1824 reproduction sampler. I have it as an electronic pattern. Um, so I'll put a link to it below. It's by Stitchy Box. Um, I am doing this on 32 Murano in Lightning Storm from Jodry Designs, and I'm using the called for MPI silks. So I'm working on the border right now. 
And my minder is a crown needle minder from No Name Needle Minders. I need to work on this a little bit more. Then my next one is the last of my Harry Potter pieces that I worked on for Return to Hogwarts. And that is Solemnly Swear, the Gryffindor version from Fiddlesticks. And here, let's see, get to it. There we go. Here is where I am at this point, working on the letters in the middle. I am doing this on 32 Joblin and Mayan Apocalypse from Under the Sea Fabrics. And my minder is a Marauder's Map needle minder from Mifty Needle Nannies. I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Thus, you need the Marauder's Map. And then the last whip that I worked on, also electronic pattern, I like my electronic patterns, um, was the Woodland Sampler by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And I am doing this on 32 Lugana and Heritage from Picture This Plus. And I am using um, one of the DMC Coloris threads. Uh, it is um, uh, 4516 for the borders. So I'm working on all of the borders right now. And I finished this one and I did this one. Over here for February, there's actually not a border. So this is March down here. And then my minder is one of the little um, National Park needle minders from Frosted Pumpkin. So those are the whips that I worked on since I saw you guys last. I have also had three finishes. So since, I, since I'm up to five this year, these three, I was a productive month. The first one is my favorite, and I was sad when this piece ended. Um, it is the ABC De La Bradeuse Sal from Jardin Privé. I stitched this one over one on 28 Joblin and Winter Wishes from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie using Dinky Dye Silks. That's kind of how it looks all finished. Hard to capture it all. So I'll scroll, I'll pull it through. I loved this piece. It really was just an absolute joy to work on. I was sad when this ended. Definitely had some stitchers depression or finish depression. So uh, my intention, there is the another free sal that they did a year or two ago um, that I think I want to do the same colors with and the other half of this piece of fabric. And then there's my little signature down there at the bottom. So yeah, this was so much fun. I really did enjoy working on it. I'm glad I did it one over one. It didn't seem too much of a trouble to see it for me personally, but I, this is a long piece. This is a, a fat quarter, a length of a fat quarter. Um, so it's already pretty long, right? Uh, but um, can you imagine if I did it two over two? That would be insane. It'd be the size of giant Harry Potter. But I like this. It's dainty. It's delicate. It's done. <laughs> then my next finish was um, a quickie from Mill Hill. It was the American Pie. I haven't obviously FFO'd it yet, but isn't it cute? All the buttons and the bling. I pulled this, I forget why. I think I pulled this out for probably the patriotic stitch long and I just kept stitching. So. And then my last finish, since I saw you guys last, I just finished this past week and I was working on it for the back to school stitch long in Stitch Mania. It is an electronic pattern. It is Crafty Chicks Are Hot from Wee Little Stitches. Here we are. I did this on 28 Lugana in French Lilac from Picture This Plus that I got from a stitchy box. And I changed the colors up so the border or the letters are outlined in DMC B5200. And the inside of them uh, is filled in with Jealousy from Weeks Dye Works. The pattern calls for like black for the, the lettering and red for the inside. I wanted to switch it up. And yes, this doesn't mean that or crafty boys are hot too. That's just the pattern. You know I love my boys. So the other thing to show you guys, since I've seen you guys last, is my update on my one stitch a day. Um, I will admit I did not stitch every day, <laughs> but every day that I have stitched, I have kept up on this. So here is where we are 
at this point. Let's start here. I've had 325 pieces, 46 beads, 20 classic color works, 128 dinky dies, 328 DMC, uh, one DMC pearl number 12, 11 gentle arts, 32 drottery designs, 109 kit threads, uh, 28 Krennic number fours, three Krennic number eights, uh, seven Krennic silk mori, uh, 123 Mohs silk, 18 NP or Mohs sale, excuse me, 18 NPI silk, four petite treasure braid, seven silken colors, two Sullivans, three water lilies, 21 weeks dye works for a total of 891. <laughs> See, there's all the little beads from Birthstone Dragons. And my minders, my little Captain Hook needle minder from Brenda's Minders and more. I'm loving how this is turning out. It's just, it's fun to just see how the colors are working together and where the, it's just, it's fun. And I'm going to keep working on this until this is full. So, it's a joy. 36 minutes in. I haven't gotten a stash. Stash is going to be the longest part of this video. <sighs> okay. Um, sorry. Daughter texted me a question. I need to respond to daughter. Because when she texts me when she's at school, I need to respond. Okay. Anyway. Uh, weekly plans. So, uh, like I said... I've given up on my monthly stitch alongs. I'll do them when I do them. Uh, I do plan on coming back on weekly updates. Tuesday seemed to be like a good day to do it because Mondays are just rough being Mondays. Weekends are hard with the kids home. Tuesdays are not usually a day that I have a lot to do outside of the house. So I should be able to hopefully, hopefully this will be my new day. That's what I'm showing you here is as if it's going to be my new day. So, not worrying about the monthly stitch alongs. Finish the one ABC, and then that's just it for them this year. Um, the uh, focus for a finish, I'm getting back to. Uh, it's Mahjong. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with that piece. So I'm going to keep working on that until it's done or I'm sick of it, whichever comes first. Uh, for monthly mania stitch along, this month it is the back to school stitch along where you work on anything educational or with letters or anything school related. Um, Crafty Chicks Are Hot was one I used for that because of the words. Um, so my next one I'm going to work on until it's either the end of the month or it's finished is All You Need Is Love by Janlin. And I am stitching this one, or it's, it's on a kit. It's black, white and black. My minder's little love needle minder from Delicious Threads. So we'll see how far I get on this for the rest of the month. Then tour day designers, like I said, this month is Nora Corbett slash Mirabilia. I'm going to keep working on my Raven Queen. Uh, there are a couple of one day stitch alongs coming up this week before I see you guys next. The 15th is the color of day sensational Sapphire. And I'm going to work on my blue sneaker from Mill Hill. And here's where it is at this point. There's white in there. It's just hard to see it, the white on white. So we'll see how far I get on that. Then on the 17th is Year of Starts. I have a start plan, but it's in my stash positions. So I will show you that here in a minute. Whips for the week. Now, my last video that I actually was here talking to you, um, so not my last, last video, but the one right before that. I talked about my plans for my new whip rotation. And I still plan on doing my new whip rotation. I just didn't do it since I saw you guys last. Um, like I said, I've said several times now, I'm repeating myself. Life just got kind of wonky. But I'm going back to it now. Now that I feel more like myself as far as stitching is concerned, I'm going to get back to it. And to, as a quick reminder, I am basically doing... Uh, the I'm working on whatever whip I am working on that day is the day that I started it. So it's like it's anniversary slash birthday. If I don't have one that day, um, it's a free whip day and I used random number generator to pick whatever I wanted. So some days I got to pick whatever 
which one I was going to work on. Some days have multiple starts because of year of starts and other things. So it's fun. It gives me a variety. So this week, today, I am going to be working on Sage, which is from Just Cross Stitch, June 2015. And this is being done on 28 count white Jobelin. Let's get to it over here. My minder's a little turtle needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. So I got to when I last worked on it. Then tomorrow, I will be working on Three Wise Men, which is from World of Cross Stitching issue number 222. And this is being done on 32 Jobelin in Twilight from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Here's where I got to last time I worked on it. My minder's little Christmas ornament needle minder from Minding My Minders. Then Thursday, out of my 2015 Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue, I will be working on Tangled from my good friend Carolyn Manning. And here is where I am at this point, working on the scarf. My minder's a little Christmas light needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Then Friday was a free whip day. So random number generator picked an electronic pattern. It is Inigo Montoya from Pixel Power Design. I am doing this on a scrap of fabric that Garrett gave me, so I'm not sure who it's by or what the color is, but it's pretty. This is where I am at this point. My minder is Keep Calm and Geek On from Minding My Minders. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Hello. One of my favorite all-time movies. Then Saturday was also a free whip day. So random number generator picked out uh, from my the birthday stitch along this year, La Princesse from Les Bons Mots. And I am doing this one on 28 Cashel and Gothic from Picture This Plus, and I am using um, Rainbow Gallery Petite Treasure Braid for the entire thing. So here, oh, it goes like this, sorry. And this is upside down. No wonder I got confused. So there's where I got started on it with the sparkle sparkle and my minder says you can call me by my title from No Name Needle Minders. So I'll work some more on this one. Then Sunday I had three starts that have a birthday on that day. So three whips I should say. The first is from Just Cross Stitch 2013 Christmas Ornament Issue. And it is Peace on Earth by Pickleberry Designs, which is this one right down here. And I am doing it on 32 Jobelin in Georgia Peach from Under the Sea Fabrics. And here's the ah, carriage thread. Here is where I got to when I last worked on it, worked on some of that outline. And my minder is from Dragonfly Lotus. the precursor to stitchy box. Then also on Sunday from the 2008 Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue, I am working on Poinsettia, which is by Ink Circles. This one right down here. And I am doing that one on uh, 28 Cashel in Lavender Mist from Zweigert. And here's where we are. And my little Linus needle minder from Minding My Minders. And then the last one on Sunday is uh, an electronic pattern. It's Rapunzel by Dona Stitch. And I am doing this on 32 Joblin in Isold from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And here's where I am at this point. And my little minder is a Rapunzel needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. 
And then my last whip for next Monday is also an electronic pattern. It's Aladdin by Dona Stitch. And I am doing this one on 32 Joglin and Blackened Indigo from Under the Sea Fabrics. And here's where I am. My little Jasmine needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. So yeah, there be my plans. Like I said, I'm feeling a little, I, I am feeling more back to my normal stitchy self. My stitchy bug pretty much feels like it's back. Um, hopefully these plans will work out as I want them to. We shall see next week. 45 minutes. All right. This next part is going to be stash positions. I'm going to get through as much as I can before I have to leave to pick up my son. If I don't finish, which is possible, I will come back and do a second part of the video. Um, and plus I have another plan for one of these stash positions for its own separate video. Anyway. All right. We've got patterns, we've got fabric, we've got floss, we've got miscellaneous, we've got magazines, we've got a stitchy box, we've got needle minders. We got it all, people. And I'm going to start with what was in easy reach fabric. Some of this is fabric of the month, some of this is or order that I placed when um, Under the Sea Fabrics was having a sale. Don't ask me to tell you which is which, it's not going to happen. All right, this is from under this, I can tell you the designer and what they all are, but I can't tell you what's Fabric of the Month versus Order. All right, this is from Under the Sea Fabrics. This is 32 Belfast and Gaia. Isn't that pretty? It's showing up very orange and yellow. It's kind of more of a pinky orange in person, but it's very pretty, I like it. Then, This one is from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. It is 20 Joglin in Chestnut, which is a very green brown shade. It's, I like that. Very Christmassy. Or Woodlands type. Next is from Under the Sea Fabrics. This is Shimmering Azure. And this is a 32 Joglin piece, pretty blues and purples. Very subtle modeling, but it's very pretty. It's subtle, but it's there. This one came with a note from Leslie. OMG, this was so pretty. I almost kept it. Thanks for not keeping it. This one is uh, 32 Belfast in Black Magic from Under the Sea Fabrics. It's so pretty. I like it very much. I can see why Leslie wanted to keep it. Thank you for not keeping it, Leslie. <laughs> then this one is also from Under the Sea. It's a 32 Belfast in Cosmos. I love it because it looks like the Cosmos. Very space. Then... The next one is 32 Joblin in Autumn from Under the Sea Fabrics. It's a very nice neutral I like using. Very pretty. Then we have uh, 32 Belfast in Avalon from Under the Sea Fabrics. Another very fairy tale type colors. Then, this one is from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. It is Moana in 28 Jobelin. This is, I believe, in Fabric of the Month. I love that. Very tropical, very Moana feel. Then, this one is from Under the Sea Fabrics. It is 32 Belfast. It's called Love Child. and gray and a little bit of purple feel. Very nice. Then uh, two Fabric of the Months from Jottery. These ones I know are Fabric of the Months because it says on there. 
This one is a 32 count Murano in Supernova. This is the July fabric of the month. Similar to Avalon in the color and the feel, with very fairy type feel. Ethereal. And then the last fabric is the August fabric of the month from Jottery, which is Parrot Fish. It's also a 32 count Murano. Very cool selection of colors. I like it. I did place an order with Picture This Plus for their Christmas sale. Are we shocked? No. Um, it's primarily neutrals because I like the neutrals. I think, unless I did something that I'm not remembering, which is entirely possible. But that hasn't come in yet, so whenever it comes in, that'll get included. I think I'm good on fabrics for a little bit. Um, oh, this is not a sash acquisition. My daughter wanted me to show this. She's been working on her art, so she made this for me, so she wanted me to show off. That's me. Don't you see the resemblance? That's my sweet girl. It'll be put up in my room in here somewhere. All right, um, I think next is just standard stitchy supplies. These are the boring ones. Needles, these are the size 26 and size 28 tapestry needles. And then lots and lots and lots and lots. Bobbins, I'm out. So I stocked up on more bobbins. Boring. And threw them over there. Okay, patterns are what's closest to me next. There's a bunch. Are you ready? All right. We have a bunch of Mill Hills and kits to start off with. This one is S'mores by Mill Hill. Now remember, I haven't talked to you guys since like June. So this is several months worth of stash and stuff. This is Celestial Slay by Mill Hill. I love this whole sleigh line. I had to get them all. This is Banana Split. This is Evergreen Slay. This is Triple Scoop. This is the Vintage Slay. This is Toyland Slay from Mill Hill. This is the Traditional Slay. Sorry. And then the Woodland Slay. Then I had a couple of uh, more of my Santas from my uh, Sandra Cozzolino collection. This is the Yukon Santa from the Jamlin collection. And this is Father Christmas from the Jamlin collection. And then there are a couple more that I got. This is the Garden Santa from Wilmar Crafts, Astor Place Wilmar Crafts. And this is the Birdhouse Santa. And then of course I got the Santas for this year as well. Here is the Barbados Santa from Mill Hill. This is the Trinidad Santa. And this is the Jamaica Santa, which is going to be my new start on the 17th. Because I love him. Those were the kits. At least I think that's all the kits. Yeah, it should be all the kits. There's a pile, people, I told you. All right. Next, we have... I'm working on building up my Cottage of the Month collection from Cottage uh, Country Cottage Needleworks. This is September. And here is August. And I'm also collecting the Main Street series. Here is the art gallery, the gazebo, and the coffee shop. Then, yes, I had to get it. Lizzie Kate's dog lessons for people. Our dog is too smart for her own good. She's figured out how to climb into our rather high playground treehouse thing in our backyard, like on the ladder, steep ladder climb. It's crazy. This is Kesslin's Wee Petites. Can't remember where I saw it, but I, I think someone was stitching this on Mania and I was like, I must have. 
Then the next um, three for the uh, Early American series by Little House Needleworks. This is Nathan Hale. This is Freedom. And this is Paul Revere. Then I had um, some patterns from the different pattern of the night, uh, month series from um, Stony Creek. So this is the April through August Halloween one. So this is April. This is Scary Night. And this is the whole pattern on, or the whole series on the back. But this is Scary Night for April. May is Spooky. June is Ghosts and Goblins. July is Haunted House. And August is Trick or Treat. And then I also saw this series. This is an older one. This is from December 2016 through March. But I saw it and fell in love with it. This is, um, the whole series is the trees, the seasons of trees. Seasons come and go. So this is spring from December. Spring flowers. Summer fun from January. Autumn harvest from February. And winter peace from March. Then I also was going through my patterns. It's one thing I did a lot of since I saw you guys last with organizing and adding patterns back to my extra chap. And oh my gosh, I have a lot of patterns. But I found a couple of series that I had started collecting that I was missing like one or two parts of it. So I finished those out. This is the July 2016 Merry Christmas banner, um, Make the Season Bright. I was missing this one. Had all the other ones, just missed this one. And then from the Holly Jolly Christmas, I had needed this Santa. Then the Hands-On Design Cool Beans series finished up. We have Rise and Grind. We have Cuppa Cuppa. And we have A Hug and a Cup. I'm not done with patterns, people. I organize them by size and type, could you tell? Last part of the patterns. We have Halloween Moon. I actually got this one for free from Stony Creek. It was another one of those. You only pay shipping. Pattern was free. Don't know if it still is. Go check. This one is Sign of Stitching. It's actually Sign of Stitching Addictions, but the title on this is Sign of Stitching Additions. Clearly not spell check, but it's stitching everything, thinking about stitching, discussing stitching, shopping for stitching, blogging new stitching techniques, pinning stitching patterns, Facebook postings, finished stitching, browsing sites for stitching, dreaming of stitching, stitching while watching TV, bringing stitching to work, and stitching during meals. I'm not going to do it in black and white. I'm going to do it in variegated threads, but I had to get it. Then this one is Daybreak Star Bright from Tempting Tangles. I thought that was gorgeous. Then Hearts of America, this is the third one because it has Texas, because I was looking for Texas, which is right there. No, that's Florida. There's Texas. Right down here. There's Texas. Then from Tilton Crafts, we have Beauty versus Beauty. So the cartoon versus Emma Watson. This is Wonder Woman Warrior Princess. Once Upon a Time, Emma and Regina. I'm going to miss Emma. Then um, I was sent the kit uh, by Caterpillar Cross Stitch for their Happiness is Homemade series. I haven't started it yet, but they did send me the full kit of where it was up to that point. So I'm going to work on this. Start this soon. And the last pattern related thing I got was um, a book, actually. This is Charted Monograms for Needlepoint and Cross Stitch, and I got it from Amazon. I had some extra Amazon bucks to spend um, for like free shipping for something else. So I threw this in my box. Um, this is, let's see here. This book was originally published in 1977. So before I was even born was the first edition. And then added um, a little more, no, circa 1900 was when it was originally done. I can't show you what's in here, um, but it's all monograms of various sizes and shapes and crowns and all that stuff. And I have 
some ideas of what I'm wanting to use this for. So, cute little book. All right, what should we do next? Um, let's do threads. I have two Threads in the Month clubs from Silks for You that came in. Again, don't ask me the months. This one, oh, this is June. Okay, so this is June Silk of the Month from Silks for You. That's stunning. These are all of the June ones. Pretty blue. This is a pretty pink. This is a pretty purple. And the green. And all of the solids work with the variegated. See? Ah, it's so pretty. And then, let's see here. These come from Australia, so it takes a while to get here. This is July, so August should be here anytime. Let's see. We've got this solid. It's a pretty yellow gold. This one... It's a pretty like purplish mauve color. Another gr yellow green. This is a pretty orange. And then the multicolor variegated for all of them. Again, stunning. And this is by the lady who used to own Dinky Dyes. So they're so wonderful. They're awesome. Cannot wait to start using them. Then from Jodry. I think I mentioned that I'm I'm fully caught up on her um, regular standard line for the threads of the month, so I only get the limited editions for each month now. So here's July. This is um, Galaxy, which is awesome. Then this one is August's, which is Blue Green Guppy. Pretty blue green color and then the last thing I'm going to show you and then I have to pause and I'll be back um, we have not one not two but three just for threads shipments this was this this I won the my just for threads subscription um, from stitchy box so I'm so excited all right, June's was Autumnal Oranges and Browns. This is thank you for joining us for this month's Just the Threads shipment. I hope you enjoy this month's color pairing. It's never too early to start your Halloween stitching. So in it came this pretty one. It's a painter's thread. And it looks like it's called Mark. That's beautiful. Made in Germany. German thread. Then we have a classic color works and pumpkin harvest. Then we have a, one of the limited edition ones from Gast, pretty brown. This one is copper penny from classic color works. And then the bling, we have some vintage buttons that she sent me. Vintage Moon Glow Silver. And then this is uh, Vintage Venetian Seed Beads in Transparent Orange. So that was June's. Can you tell I'm in love with this stuff? I am so in love with all of the Just for Threads. Then for July, the little note said, uh, Cottage Gardens Threads Party. Thanks for joining us for this month's Just for Threads shipment. This month we're taking a break from our color pairs to celebrate country or cottage garden threads, an Australian thread company we are now carrying in the shop. Let's see, did I get everything out of there? Yes. So we have cottage garden threads in Forget Me Not. Cottage garden threads in, uh, I guess it's love that color or feel the difference. Which one is it? Ash. Never mind. Duh. Ash. Then it also came with a silk ship's manner, a perfect day silk. So pretty. And it came with another one of the gas limited editions. 
Then for bling, we have a little bag of uh, Delica size 11 seed beads in opaque luster deep sea teal. Beautiful. And these gorgeous glass beads. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I love them. Here's a pretty butterfly. And then this one I'm in love with because I love cobalt glass. But it's a beautiful heart. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I will find something. It's gorgeous. And then the August just for threads says August 2017 Peacocks. Thanks for joining us for this month's shipment. Now that our tour around the color wheel is over, we will be visiting some of my favorite animals for the remainder of 2017. First up is the always fabulous Peacock. So we have water lilies in aquamarine, which is beautiful. Then we have Fiberlicious. This is Aquatic Maiden. Beautiful, deep, deep green, blue, purple shades. This one is Valdani in Coffee Roast for the browns. Then we have Krennic, um, number four braid in 5540. Beautiful purple. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. And then Northern Lights in Clover. Now we are an hour and six minutes into this and I still have a whole lot to show you guys. And I have to go pick up my son and my daughter from school. So I'm going to have to pause it here. I will be back to do my needle minders, my um, stitchy box, some extras from stitchy box uh, and magazines and flip throughs. I will be doing a separate flip through for the X stitch magazine um, because one, it's the first edition of it coming out. And two, it's a little bit more um, subversive. I guess you want, I don't want to say subversive because it's not like what you think of when you think of subversive stitching. Um, but it is definitely more political, definitely more statement oriented. I love it. I think it's fantastic, but I'm going to do it as a separate video in case you are not interested in looking at it, which is fine. Um, anyway, video number one of the day. I will be back. See you in a bit.